Hi, my name is Patricia Hendricks. This video is for the Historical Nonfiction Children's Literature Unit. For this assignment, I have chosen five books that are best fit for fourth graders. The subject of this history unit will be Abraham Lincoln. The first book I chose is called Abraham Lincoln, Our 16th President by Sarah Hansen. This book has great illustrations that allow students to put themselves in Abraham Lincoln's shoes as he was growing up. This book is best fit for fourth graders because it is much more advanced than a picture book. It has a lot of words and is set up like a chapter book. It is filled with a lot of more detailed information than what younger children would be able to understand. But it does have, and it does have information such as on government and political information that younger children would not be able to yet understand. It also has a vocabulary word with a glossary at the end for students to be able to begin understanding things of political nature. The second book I chose is called Abraham Lincoln by Lucia Rotma. This book is great because it gives students enough information to imagine Lincoln's childhood and adult life. It really focuses on just the facts of Lincoln's life. This is perfect for fourth graders because they, like Jean Paget said in the Cognitive Development Study, children at this age still struggle with abstraction. Students at this age still see most things in concrete terms. This book does not go into great detail about the meaning of Abraham Lincoln's life. It just says things like, Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809 in Kentucky. And then later, he lived in Kentucky till he was 21. This doesn't go into great detail, but still allows students to gain an understanding about Lincoln's life. The third book I chose is called Abraham Lincoln Let Freedom Ring by Laura Polak. Like I previously mentioned, students at this age struggle with abstraction. The great thing about this book is it breaks down and explains the meanings of times in Lincoln's life that fourth graders would not be able to grasp on their own. An example of this is the first chapter explains why Lincoln was one of the best presidents. This allows students to more understand things that they wouldn't grasp on their own but yet are still true and that they need to know at this age. Another great thing about this book is that it has a timeline at the end. This allows students to understand each of the things that happened in Lincoln's life and this time, this time frame of the Civil War. It is, a, it is best for students to understand things in order because they can understand a separate event and why it happened because of what happened before it and understand each event better. The fourth book I chose is called Abraham Lincoln, Our 16th President by Sarah Bowler. The book, like the others, in, is a chapter book, but still has a lot of pictures to keep the students interested. Like many of the other books I chose, it has a lot of vocabulary words that are defined either in the back of the book or on the side of the page. The great thing about this book is that it explains difficult things such as what a legislator is and what the Supreme Court does. It explains each of these and many other complicated ways in a fourth of each of these things in a way a fourth grader could understand. The fifth and final book I chose is called Abraham Lincoln by Judy Alter. The great thing about this book is it shows information like it is off the internet. It has its table of contents here like it's off an internet site and it keeps showing things in a timeline like it's off the internet. The great thing about this is because it teaches fourth graders that they can use the internet to do research and learn about different topics. Fourth grade is about the time that students should begin to learn about researching and writing topics. Fourth grade is about, um, is just before when schools start to require students to write research essays that are a few pages in length about a certain topic. And it's great to teach fourth graders at this age to know that they can use the internet for other things and that it can be used to research and learn more about certain things. Thank you for watching this video on the historical nonfiction unit uh, on Abraham Lincoln for fourth graders.